Hello! In this new series, we'll answer some of the common questions, false claims, and misconceptions about evolution. Today's question is one we think most of you are familiar with. You know how people always say evolution is just a theory? It's not even proven yet, so why should we even bother with it? In 1859, a sincere biologist returned from the Galapagos Islands and wrote a book entitled The Origins of Species, in which uh, he did then, Charles Darwin, offered a theory uh, of the origin of species, which we've come to know as evolution. But Charles Darwin never thought of evolution as anything other than a theory. He hoped that someday it would be proven by the fossil record, but did not live to see that, nor have we. Are they right? Why is evolution still not a law if scientists are so certain of it? This is the most terrible misconception out there about evolution. And it's not only about evolution, it's a misconception about the entirety of science. Let's clear it up a bit. Unlike how we use it in our daily lives, a theory is not a wild and unproven claim. In modern science, a scientific theory is a well-studied explanation that is repeatedly tested using observations, experiments, and other tools of scientific method. By doing so, we can explain why and how things happen the way they do. In science, we make observations. Given that our observations are correct, we reach to some facts about our universe, or at least a part of it. These facts are pure observations, so they are independent from how we explain them. They just exist and we observe their existence. If these facts relate to the nature of the universe, we sometimes call them laws. So laws of nature or laws of the universe are mere observations of what is happening out there. But laws don't explain much to us. They are just statements or observations about what things are. A law always applies under the same conditions and implies that there is a casual relationship involving its elements. Like if I drop this ball, it falls. It will fall as long as there is an attractor, such as the Earth. We call this observation the law of gravity. Similarly, if you have a population of genes in a changing environment, the frequency of those genes changes over generations. This is evolution. This generational change doesn't even have to be biological. It's observed in chemicals and even in algorithms. So both gravity and evolution are facts. They are observed and shown to be true. And since they always apply under same conditions, we call them laws of nature. But this is not enough. We want to explain why balls fall. We want to explain how species change. We formulate plausible and temporary explanations to these observations. These are called scientific hypotheses. We test each of our hypotheses systematically, eliminate the weak ones or the wrong ones. We further examine and connect the ones that we, or our fellow researchers, fail to reject, no matter how much we try. Through this rigorous activity, we form theories. A scientific theory is an explanation of an aspect of the natural world that can be repeatedly tested using scientific method. Once we form a theory based on our observations and systematically tested explanations, we publish it in an academic journal and we let our peers evaluate our methods, results, and conclusions. A lot of the time, we get heavy criticism and work on our theories to make them even better. This is how science works. The key thing to understand here is this. Theories are not at the bottom of scientific power of explanation, as some claim. On the contrary, they are at the very top. They explain the facts and laws of nature. So evolution, or the process with which genes in a population change over generations, is a fact. It's a law, but our collective scientific explanations about how and why that change occur is known as the theory of evolution. In other words, as great evolutionary biologist Stephen Jay Gold said, evolution is a fact and a theory. It will never be upgraded from a theory and become a law. And this is not the only theory that shapes our world and our understanding of the universe. All of our electronics work thanks to the circuit theory. All of our engines and our machines work thanks to the theory of machines. We understand the cells through cell theory. The kinetic theory of gases tell us how gases move. Everything we know about science is based on theories. So claiming that evolution is just a theory and that it should be ignored 
is unfair and untrue. Yep. So next time we will look at the next most famous misconception about evolution, what we call the monkey business. Do we come from monkeys? If so, why are there still monkeys? Well, what is a monkey anyways? So if you'd like to hear from our new videos, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit that bell button too. Also, if you'd like to support our science education adventure, you can go to support us on Patreon. We'll have some surprises for our thousand plus Patreon supporters very soon. Until next time, hoşçakalın. Hoşçakalın.